Hello, my name is Jason Walker, and I am an architect with the HCL Big Fix Professional Services Group. Should you wish to reach me later, you can contact me via my email address here or by mentioning at Jason Walker on the Big Fix forum. Today I'm going to talk about extending Big Fix management capability outside of the corporate perimeter. This should be a timely topic for any of you who are expanding your work from home or other remote access scenarios, so I hope you will find it helpful. This presentation focuses on using the DMZ Relay architecture to manage clients outside of the network perimeter. Topics include relay authentication, protecting your big fix data from rogue clients or network scanners, relay selection, ensuring that offsite clients can find a relay, report management, so clients respond quickly to new content, such as actions, and download management to reduce the network load on your office WAN links, firewalls, and VPN devices. We'll start by showing a typical on-premise big fix deployment. Inside the corporate environment, clients are generally divided among a number of relays. Clients communicate with relays to download content such as fixlets and actions, and to post reports such as relevant fixlets or action statuses. Relays forward these client requests up their chain to the BigFix root server and send notifications down to the clients when there is new content to be evaluated. Next, we look at how the architecture changes when one adds a virtual private network to the mix. Clients outside of the network perimeter first contact the VPN device to establish a connection to the corporate network, and then BigFix traffic is tunneled through the VPN link from the client to an internal relay. This is a simple configuration utilizing existing VPN resources to treat big fix traffic just like any other corporate network resource. While using a VPN to tunnel big fix traffic requires less configuration on the big fix side if you already have a VPN available, there are some disadvantages to using a VPN for big fix. First, Client management is only available when the client is connected to the VPN. In a modern environment that leverages cloud-based services, customers often find there is little need to connect to the VPN at all for most of their daily work, and clients may spend extended periods disconnected from the VPN. Additionally, managing clients through the VPN can put additional workload on the firewall and the VPN servers, which can be especially taxing when off-premise usage needs to be scaled up quickly. Here we introduce the use of the BigFix DMZ relay architecture. In this architecture, we configure a BigFix relay to respond directly to clients over the internet without requiring the use of a VPN. This ensures that off-premises computers can be managed over any internet connection that is available. There are several items to consider when deploying a DMZ relay architecture. Clients can use the DMZ relay and be managed just as well as if they were in the office. Using the DMZ relay reduces the workload on VPN servers, which can be a precious resource in large-scale work-from-home scenarios. We can further reduce WAN traffic via client download management settings. However, the use of a DMZ relay does require some additional configuration focused on security and client registration. To ensure the security of your BigFix deployment, when adding a DMZ relay, it is vital that we configure relay authentication. With relay authentication, we ensure that the clients are authenticated to be part of our deployment before they are allowed to download fixlets, actions, or any other content from the relay. To configure the relay to require authentication, we can execute task 1297 from the BES support site, targeting any DMZ relays that will be available from the internet. When we require relay authentication, there are several methods we can use to authenticate the clients that connect in. Any clients that have previously registered have already enrolled for a client certificate and can use that to authenticate to the DMZ relay. No additional configuration is required for those clients. To handle new clients that have not previously registered, we can configure a single password on the DMZ relay using the BezRelay.com key exchange password setting. Or we can create a list of one-time use passwords 
by creating a text file named key exchange passwords with no .txt or other file extension and saving it in the BES relay folder. When clients need to perform an initial registration to the DMZ relay, they can manually run the BES client register command to supply a registration password and the URL to the DMZ relay. Or an administrator can create a client settings.cfg file with a secure registration password and use that file when installing the BigFix client to automatically populate a password for the client. Beyond the relay authentication, we must also consider how clients will find the relay. Existing clients that have previously registered already have a list of the relays available in the deployment, including the DMZ relays. However, new clients that have not previously registered will not know about the DMZ relay, and they would try to register directly to the root server. To ensure that new clients can register using the DMZ relay, we can add settings to a client settings.cfg file and use that when we install the client. One option is to supply a BES client relay select failover relay list setting that includes the DMZ relay, uh, along with any other relays that might be used, separated by semicolons. Otherwise, we could also apply manual relay selection options to those clients, including a Relay Server 1 and Relay Server 2 value, with at least one of those referencing the DMZ relay. Once the client has authenticated and registered to the relay, we have to consider how the client is going to be informed about new content so it can respond to actions quickly. In an on-premise deployment, the relay would send a UDP notification to the client informing it when there is new content to evaluate. Those UDP notifications are often blocked or dropped in internet connection scenarios. One option is to enable persistent connections on both the DMZ relay and on the connecting clients. The client establishes a TCP connection to the relay and then leaves that connection open. The relay uses this persistent connection to notify the client when there is new content available. Another option is to enable command polling on the client. This causes the client to periodically connect to the relay and check for new site versions. You configure the interval at which clients check in. That period can vary depending upon your needs, but we generally recommend no more frequently than once per hour. These two options can be used together for maximum effectiveness. Finally, now that we have clients authenticating, registering, and evaluating content, we may need to tune how much of your site's internet bandwidth is used in downloading patches or other content to the clients. With a large number of clients using your site's network link, whether those are VPN clients or DMZ clients, we may want to manage how much bandwidth they are using. One option is to throttle the bandwidth that the relay allows the clients to use via the BES Relay HTTP Server Throttle KBPS setting. The value you supply here is shared among all of the clients that are connecting to this relay for file downloads. Another option is to configure the clients to connect directly to the vendor websites for their patch downloads. By configuring the client setting for BES Client Download Direct, the client will try to download patches directly from the vendors rather than using your relay cache to download those files. In a DMZ scenario, this can greatly reduce the bandwidth used on your corporate WAN link, but be advised that in a VPN scenario, this can actually use more bandwidth if the client is reaching out through your VPN link to reach the vendor websites. I want to thank you for taking the time to view this video, and I hope this information is helpful. On the screen now, we have several sites available where you can seek additional help or guidance. Your Big Fix team is here to help in any way we can, so please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you.